Let's work problem 30 from OpenStax University of Physics, chapter 7. So we have a situation here where the tension is doing work against gravity and against friction. The mass is 90 kilograms. The inclination is 60 degrees. The coefficient of friction is 0.1. Uh, the distance along the slope <coughs> is 30 meters. And I think that's relevant information. So. Well, our energy is a combination of the kinetic energy, the potential energy, and the work done. For part A, you are asked to find the work done by friction as the sled moves 30 meters along the hill. So the work due to friction would be equal to the force that is parallel to the displacement times the displacement. Now the force that is parallel to the displacement is going to be the force of friction and the displacement is going to be 30 meters. Now the force of friction is equal to the coefficient of friction, in this case a kinetic coefficient because the sled is sliding, times the normal force. Hopefully you recall that the normal force is going to be equal to mg cosine of theta. And I worked that out in class and I think in one of the problems as well. So then my work done by friction is going to be mg cosine of theta times the coefficient times the distance. Okay, putting all that would be 0 0.100 times the mass, which is 90 kilograms. times gravity, which is 9.81 meters per second squared, times the cosine of theta, which is the cosine of 60 degrees, times the distance 30 meters. Let's put all that in the calculator. Make sure you're in degrees. And my answer is one thousand three hundred and twenty four. 0.35 joules, which we can write as 1.3 kilojoules.
Okay, this is your answer for part A. Now, this is the magnitude of the work done by friction. Um, because it's against the direction of motion, we could choose that as our uh, positive direction. So then I will make this a negative quantity. Okay, this is part A. Now let's go on to part B. How much work is done by the rope on the sled in this distance? Okay. So for part B, the work is applying a tension. And that tension is being acted on over a distance of 30 meters. So I need to find the tension. And then multiply times the distance. Now here, there may be an easier way to do this, which is looking at the change in kinetic energy and the change in potential energy. Since I'm imagining the rope is pulling the sled little by little is not really imparting a great deal of speed onto the sled so the acceleration would be basically zero uh, as you know if you ever pull something like that you kind of pull then it stops and you pull a little bit more so I am going to imagine that at the beginning and ending points my kinetic energy will be zero because it starts and it ends at a speed equal to zero so I'm going to say that my change in kinetic energy is equal to zero. My change in potential energy is going to be equal to mgh. So then the work done by the tension by the rope will be equal to my change in kinetic energy which will be zero plus my change in potential energy plus the work that was lost to friction which I have already now all I need to find now is H H is easy to find because if this is my distance h, then h will be simply related to the sine of 60. So the work done by the rope will be equal to mg times the distance d which is 30 times the sine of 60 okay so the numbers that I get um, is this by the way this number here is obviously the work done by the gravitational force and for that I get which gives me So then the work done by the rope on the sled is going to be 2.16 
21.6 kilojoules. And in keeping with my uh, previous uh, convention for the signs, that would be negative. Uh, the work done by the gravitational uh, force, again, is the MGH. And that actually is part C. So I already have part C. Uh, so work done by the gravitational force would be 22... 938, so 2.3, 1, 2, 3, 22.9 kilojoules. And let's see the, what is the, what is the total work done. Well, it depends on who you ask. Uh, if you ask the rope, if you ask gravity. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the book wants there. Um, all the work has been accounted for, so... If I add everything, then I would say the sum of all the works would be zero. Um, but again, the work done by who? Would be a better question. <clears throat> um, I think what they probably want is that zero kind of saying that all the energy has been accounted for. Work done on the sled by gravity or by the rope or done on friction, it all adds up to zero. So energy has been conserved. So, okay. I hope that helps. Uh, again, these are the answers B. I think this is this is the answer for B. This is the answer for C.